1st of December, Soviet turn. Uh, the last video we had, we discussed trying to press in here and block trace supply for all the forces that are approaching Moscow from the south uh, east, basically. And while that all sounded like a great idea, and it probably is a great idea, uh, it's kind of meager. <laughs> Got uh, this guards division, which has one step, uh, this cav unit, and a couple of guys in here, which are fairly meager. Uh, and I put some SP in there because I think we'll probably need it, but uh, I may have probably overcommitted SP there. You know, if these guys get attacked, it leaves a juicy target for the. Uh, the access to try and attack and capture SP. In the meantime, we pressed a lot of forces down this way, trying to, they're all reasonable strength, except for these weaker infantry divisions, 1222s guys. So I didn't get as far as I was hoping to. I was, I was wanting to put the pressure on this turn, or this coming turn for the Germans. They'll still have another turn to try and uh, interfere with that. And in fact, they'll, they'll be able to make a, a land bridge of, uh, of forces and and prevent me from um, getting there, uh, which is a real, really annoying. Over here, <clears throat> uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to protect this rail line, and it seems that the Germans keep trying to, you know, if I, rather than pitching in here, for instance, they're more likely to go around. That's what I've, I tend to have been doing with the German forces. So I'm not too worried uh, about guys trying to pop into here at the moment because I think I can isolate those guys and choke them out uh, on, on supply uh, premises, you know. So we're trying to build a hub around this town here, Arecovo, uh, Shiveno, Shiveno, and it's proving to be difficult because I can't get enough forces down there. I'm really limited with what I have. I've got three rail guys. I just popped them out of the way. I had to uh, pay fuel and move them uh, as far as I could out of uh, the trouble zone. These two pieces here, I don't know what they are. Uh, and I will pop them back in Moscow. That would be the best place to put them for now. I'm sure I had a great plan for them. Partisan attacks don't happen just yet. We've got them off to one side. Let's get them out of the way. And as you can see, what that with moving a lot of force this way, I've thinned out this second line here, but kept this still intact. And I still have this kind of outer ring going, which has been thinned as well. I pulled anything with a rating of uh, three or more out and pulled them back uh, to defend the south. And over here, <coughs> Decided to pull the first guard cab back uh, towards Klin and uh, eventually try and link them up with the Kalinin forces just there. Really concerned about the press here from the Germans. Uh, oh, can you hear that? Well, that's a bee. So I know a bee has. I told you I had a, a beehive in my house and they've, they've started to uh, find their way into my game room. He's going to have to die. I'll be right back. Okay, I think we're going to need to cut the video short. <laughs> I have an increasingly complex problem and I can't get any beekeepers to uh, respond to my calls to come and uh, collect this hive or, uh, or help me uh, dispose of it. Anyway, suffice to say, interesting things going on in the north. Not a lot going on in the south. It's pretty much a wholesale retreat. Let's have a real quick look. I turned the lights off down here already, so it's a little bit dark. But here's uh, Voronezh for a, a reference point. Uh, got a little bit of a hub there with uh, some Germans pressing south from Tula. They ain't going to get too far just because of supply considerations. But I've pulled everything else uh, just manually uh, back as far as I can. I'm taking a chance with a strat move here, see if I can escape. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be caught in the open. These guys will probably end up dying. Uh, those guys used the last of their supply. So that's about it for the... Uh, for the southern parts of the map, we've been reinforcing Sevastopol fairly aggressively as well. It's got a lot of supply and I put a few extra... All the new units that are coming on are going into there right now. With the view that... Uh, with the view that... Uh, if we keep playing this to its ultimate conclusion, you know, whether we roll this out through 42 or what, however long we go, 
Sevastopol has to fall one way or another, and the stronger we can make it, then the less chance there is of a German victory. So I don't think we're going to see a German victory out of this particular game, per se. Uh, the moral victory of capturing Moscow would be very cool, uh, but you know, it's not. we're not going to fulfill the victory conditions for 41, and certainly not for 42, which is, uh, well, I mean, it's possible, but if we don't get Sevastopol, then nothing's happening. So, And I can't do Sevastopol unless I have more forces down there which means taking away from uh, other activities. Anyway, that's the uh, update for the 1st of December. I'm basically ready to wrap this turn up. I've got to double check supply for a few guys and roll some, make some attrition rolls. Uh, we lost a step here and another one there, uh, two steps there. Uh, a couple of little guys here got uh, knocked out. Uh, nothing up here of note that is out of supply, I don't think. Uh, these guys actually are, so I'm gonna roll for them. So, glad I made the video. All right, talk to you soon.